So let's talk with this Honda plant. It's in Swindon, which is west of London, the fourth biggest plant, actually, auto plant in the UK. And they say it's not just because of Brexit. Yes, it seems like the reporting is saying, and the, the Japanese car maker is saying it's not about Brexit. But we also have a column out today that's citing the fact that Brexit is causing uncertainty and particularly a more volatile currency. So that's something that companies have to keep in mind. But to your point, David, they have been seeing slowing sales in the UK and in Europe for a while. And they're really pointing to the fact that they're trying to pivot towards electric car making and potentially do more of that in Japan and in the U.S. And it's also a law of unintended consequences because there's a new U.K. Japanese uh, trade agreement coming into place and in fact it would no, mm. have, no longer charge tariffs on exports from Japan to the U.K. So they're saying well we can just import them. Oh yeah so what, why bother? Exactly right yeah. we don't need to make them there anymore. Exactly so and we're seeing these tariff wars uh, all over the place it's almost like whack-a-mole tariff game. Uh, <laughs> one, right. Once we're not talking about China we're talking about Europe so but I do think that we're seeing a lot of the the uh, turmoil in the automakers overall as they try to adjust to this changing landscape. And again, the electric car vehicles seem to be where they're going naturally, and the sedans, they're kind of you know phasing out. Yeah, like uh, Nissan had the same thing uh, mm. as well in the UK. But apparently one good news is that you can still trade derivatives uh, in That's London, right, yeah. even if they uh, crash out of the EU. That's like pretty good yeah. for the financial industry, I would think. Yeah. They, they do love their derivatives. <laughs> <laughs> you can still trade them. So you're all set. <laughs>